Alrighty guys, today we're going to be exploring exactly why there are two grannies in the granny horror game. Meow, 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 meow. What are you talking about, Sir Meowslaw? There aren't three grannies, there's two. Hmm, meow, meow. Sir Meowslaw, that's just Don Cheadle wearing a wig. <sighs> okay, Don, you've had your fun. Give me the wig. So getting into it, let's start off with a quick reminder of exactly where the second granny is in Granny. As most of you probably know, whenever you're in this room here, it's like the second bedroom upstairs, uh, you want to go ahead and knock this painting over. I think you can just you know, walk up to it, and then it reveals this little lever. <sighs> and what does this lever do? Well, if we pull it, as you can see, it then reveals a secret room. Whoa! And what is in this secret room? Well, there's actually still the old spider pet. They haven't updated this picture, I just realized, but that's besides the point. You see here, this little doohickey, and you know, maybe I can put something here. Well, what do you put? Well, I went ahead and found this book. So, this book just spawns randomly anywhere, just like all the other items, but then when you find it, you put it down, and what is revealed? A very spooky granny 2.0 or 1.0 I should say because now let's get into exactly why this granny is here who is this granny why is she chained up in a secret room well here's something else actually that is definitely worth reminding you guys of just in case you know I want to get all the information out on the table so when you come down into this room in a recent update of Granny, there is now, of course, this new secret room that we all know about. And there is this picture here of, of a disgusting, creepy Granny. If you guys notice, if you look closely, you will see that this picture of this Granny is actually the same Granny that was chained up in that secret room that we were just in. But you'll see in a second here that it is also the same Granny that is in the slender. Andrina games. Check this out. What, what is that? Oh, that's Granny! Oh! Ew! Oh! But that still doesn't answer the question. Why are there two grannies? Where did they come from? Who are these grannies? Well, do you guys want to know the big reveal? Here it comes, guys, okay? Make sure you're buckled in. Granny, the main granny, is the mother of this granny. Meaning that Granny is the grandmother of Slendrina, meaning that this granny isn't actually a granny at all. She's just a mom that looks like a granny. <laughs> Slendrina's mom is the daughter of Granny. And of course, right there, same granny that we saw chained up. In Slendrina 10, she is seen chained up inside of a cage, unmoving, just like how she is in Granny, kind of, sort of, not quite in a cage, but it's very similar. But she does not become hostile until the escape sequence, which is whenever Slendrina's spirit is captured in the book. Hence why we place the book down to reveal this granny. Not this granny, but this mom, I should say. Slendrina's mom. But now that raises the question of why is she chained up in Granny's house? It makes you question who Granny actually is. Well, it says here... Get ready, guys. This is getting pretty intense. Granny's origin and what she actually is is never mentioned. So we all know this, yes. But now here is the theory. Because her house is found in an isolated forest, just completely in the middle of nowhere, that right there is a hint that she could be a demon or an entity. But then the biggest thing, the most mind-blowing thing of this all is that it is also possible that Slendrina is possessing the body of Granny to try to kill the player. And then it also says here that uh, just based off the fact that her eyes start glowing red whenever you pick up the teddy bear or you kill one of her pets, that is already big enough of a hint that she's not actually a real person. She's some sort of demon. Uh, also, because whenever you kill her with a shotgun or by smashing her into pieces, 
she's still alive afterwards, still haunting you, so... There you go. <laughs> if that gives you any sort of information to work off of. But what I've finally realized, after so long of being so confused, is actually pretty simple. Is that the granny is actually a mom that looks like a granny, and then Granny is the true Granny, hence why the game is called Granny. Because if you guys don't know this still, uh, Granny is the sequel to a bunch of Slendrina games the same developer made before, before making Granny. And so Slendrina, the ghost woman that appears beside the baby crib whenever you put the teddy bear in it, is Slendrina, who's the daughter of the mother who's chained up, who is the daughter of Granny, which might not even be a real person, just some sort of demon. To be honest, they're probably all demons. And then the other theory is that uh, Slenderman is actually the husband of Slendrina's mom. Yeah. And so after all this stress, all of this torment, what is the best way to get back at all these demons that are haunting us? Well, it's by bouncing, that's how. Let's get the heck out of here. I feel so much more confident now knowing the, the backstory and the lore of all of this. Granny isn't nothing. She's just some stupid granny. <gasps> okay, so we got a car key. Very nice. Okay, and I did cause a creak in the floor. Yeah. Hello, granny. Or should I say, demon woman, mother of Slendrina's mom, who's the mother of Slendrina, Slendrina's grandmother. Hmm. I do like the theory that it is possible that Slendrina is actually possessing granny. Hence why whenever you pick up the teddy bear, which was Slendrina's teddy bear, granny gets so angry. It's a pretty good theory. I like it. Hold on, so if she placed the bear trap over there, did she go down the stairs? Oh, yeah, she did. Okay. Okay. All right. You know what? Actually, I want to check these drawers. I always quickly run past this room, but it's better to just be efficient and check everything, and then we'll have a way better idea of where things are, and then we can just leave already. I do believe she's going to be going back down the stairs. Okay. Nothing in here. Oh, made a big noise. And is there anything in here? Why can't I move? I'm stuck in here. No! Huh? Let's go upstairs. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. And then we'll go down to the car. We'll unlock the car. Oh, these are all such good ideas. Wait for it. Okay, so the gasoline's up here. Wait for it. And then when we go down to the car... Oh! When we go down to the car... Then we can, oh, then we can put her in the steam room. Yes. Oh, yes. Good. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Take you. Drop you in there. <laughs> Get in the car. Okay. Good. Then we can go look for other things. Wait for it. Oh, guys, we're being so efficient today. You just got to keep your cool. Close you. Close you. Yeah, and then put you very good and then open you There's nothing else down here no oh guys I'm feeling good I'm feeling real good about this one all right so best thing to do with the hammer right now is to first get this out of the way so let's go there and then there again and then we'll leave you and we'll leave you here for now okay that's a very easy place to remember where the hammer is because whenever granny's down Oh, watermelon. Okay. Whenever Granny's down, you want to check the main floor. Because it's way, way easier to look around whenever Granny's not here. So, we're going to check in here. Nothing. Quickly check here. Mm. Okay, cool. So, we got spark plug. I'm going to throw you down there. Okay, I hope I don't lose you. So, we know it's just lying on the floor down there somewhere. Okay. Okay, Granny's going to be respawning any second now. Cog wheel. Oh, we might as well come over here. And then put you beside the playhouse. Oh, guys, we're being so efficient right now. This is amazing. I'm feeling good. Okay. Drop you there. And then part of a shotgun. Okay. And then we can take the car key, check the car, see if there's anything in the trunk. Wow. Everything's coming up Millhouse. 
and then there's a special key right there. Okay, cool. So we mark you over. Granny's gonna be coming to the basement now. So I need to quickly put this part of a shotgun down. Yes. So I'll put you there. And then take you. Okay. I can't see anything. Yeah. Weapon key. Oh! Hide in the car quick! Okay, Granny's gonna be coming down here now. So now we got the weapon key, meaning we can also go to the new secret room and open up that other room that has the freeze trap. Oh, we're Granny Elite Masters now, aren't we? I just wish my hands weren't sweating so much, as they always do when I play Granny. And then the sweat seeps into the cuts that are in my hand, and then it stings. Man, I live a tough life. And Granny decided to come back downstairs for no reason, okay? Maybe I can just train around the car. The problem is, I don't like the way she's walking over here like this. Come on, Granny. We both know you don't need to do this. We'll settle our differences. So Granny's gonna leave. She did put a bear trap on the stairs, which is why I didn't want to just train around the car and then go upstairs, because I'm definitely gonna die that way. I do just want to go get that weapon key ASAP. And we still haven't checked the other room that is above the meat storage. So we gotta do that. So what's the best way to do this now? There isn't a bear trap here anymore. Oh yes, there is, it's right there. Sneak on through. Where's Granny anyways? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we can come. There's the watermelon there. We will come to that later. Granny's now gonna be coming to the basement, meaning we'll have a chance to quickly grab the weapon, and then we'll take her out on a date. I don't really know what Granny's favorite food is. Maybe it's rotting meat? Um, could be. Okay, there's two things right there that will come in handy as well. Wow. Okay, first things first, let's pick you up. Now, I'm pretty sure Granny should be coming from a oh, winch handle. Wow, oh, okay. There's so many different things that we can use for our advantage and just to, well, to beat the game. Okay, I don't know if Granny's gonna be coming from there or from there. I wonder if she can come from there because now she can go through the secret room. Actually, no, she can because the only way into the secret room is through the meat storage, meaning she wouldn't be coming through there. She'd be coming from our right, which is where I should have been aiming. Granny? Maybe not. Maybe I could just go do my thing, you know? I think I'm just gonna do, go do my thing. Anything over here? No. Oh, okay. Made a lot of noise. Okay, so there, the birds guarding the playhouse key right now. This is actually a great possession because as soon as we take Granny out on a hot date, we will then pick up the dart. Where's she coming from? She'd be coming from there. Yeah. Bam! Okay. So now if I could just grab that dart again, please. Yeah, we come down here, and we know that the hammer is in the main room right now. Okay, let's make sure that we can hit this. So the meat is there. That's good. Okay, so I hope we can hit this. Yeah, yes, great shot. Okay, cool. And so the freeze traps in here. There's the previous victim. Okay, and then where did the tranquilizer go? I don't know. Well, that's all right. Let's uh, utilize the fact that Granny down right now. Granny down! I'm gonna grab another tranquilizer, hit down the screwdriver. Okay, man, there's so much to do, so much to see. Oh, I almost just stepped on a bear trap. Then there's also the cutting pliers right there. Oh man, oh man, oh man, okay. So now, screwdriver down. The screwdriver, there we go. Oh my goodness, that could have been bad. Pick you up. All right, put you down. Now we're gonna take care of a couple of things. So, here's Granny. Oh no! She spawned right in front of me. Oh come on. Okay, that's fine. Whew, there's a lot to do. So let's see. Best thing to do would be to take out the boards upstairs and then go down to the basement. Take care of anything that can be done outside, such as winch handle, the watermelon. And then we can go back upstairs with the special key. Oh man, okay. Hello, Granny, hello, yes, yes. I'm gonna pick up the hammer first. Okay, take all these out. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Whoa, no, come on! 
<laughs> I got too ambitious. We're gonna take things one step at a time. So we know that the hammer is still upstairs. So we still gotta make sure we get that because we also need it for the other secret room. Maybe we should do that. I'm gonna go back up to the hammer again. Cause I do really need that. I'm gonna take you. Yeah. I didn't mean to pick up the plank. I meant to take it out with the hammer. But I guess it was already taken out. It was just, it didn't actually fall down. Okay, we also know where the cutting pliers are, which is good. We also need to bring the cutting pliers up to the attic in order to escape the cage. Oh man, okay. And we also know that the weapon, we could use the freeze trap, because we can go get the meat, which is in the poopy sewer room. <laughs> Made a lot of noise. Granny's gonna come back up here. She's going downstairs to check that out. Because now that everything fell down to the bottom floor, I'm gonna knock this over. Just so that I feel extra safe. Because we can't be getting too ambitious, guys, okay? We gotta be doing things nicely, normally, concisely, you know. Gotta keep our cool. We're gonna walk away. Okay, cool. So now, I really hope I don't make any noise. That's another part of a shotgun. We're not worried about that right now. The next best thing to do... I need to think about this for a second. Getting the cutting pliers up here would be a good idea. I also need the hammer to take out the cage whenever I get in there. So maybe whenever Granny comes in, the cage will already be taken care of. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I have no idea where Granny is. I'm gonna book it. Here we go. Do. Okay, so we'll do this. Let me take you out. Let me take you out. Okay, cool. So, Granny's gonna walk around there. And I'm gonna walk over here. Yeah. Nope, bear trap. Nope, nope, nope. Bad, 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 bad. Very bad, very bad, very bad. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, 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 okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Get under here. Oh, okay, okay. Because now I need to get that screwdriver. But I also need the hammer. Oh man, there's so much to do. I now need the hammer to go into the new area so I can take down those planks and then I'll grab the meat because then I won't need the hammer for anything else. Then the hammer's completely done. We can stop worrying about the hammer. Where did Granny just open a door? I didn't, I didn't see where she walked off to. I should have been paying attention. Oh man, okay. Is she downstairs? Oh! No! No, 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 no. Okay. I see how it is. <laughs> All right. Close you. Okay, so there's the watermelon. That's easy. We got a cog wheel and we got a winch handle. We know where both those things are. We can grab the winch handle next and then we can just take care of everything that's going on outside. Now, all this. What's in here? Can these planks please move? Yeah. Okay, part of a shotgun. That's nice, I guess, but it's not like that crazy useful. I'm just gonna hide here for a second because Granny's gonna make her way over. And we might as well put together the shotgun. That'll definitely help us out in a lot of ways. Oh! <laughs> hey, Granny. How's it going, Gram Jam? What you doing, you just hanging out? You don't like that I knocked that picture over of your daughter? Hmm? It's a nice picture. I mean, not really kind of not not the best looking daughter if I'm I look like I'm just being honest okay you're just gonna hang out you're just gonna let me sit here forever you're not gonna do anything oh well good I need to be careful here she's gonna walk away I believe what may have happened is she hit the meat why did that picture just go back up oh <gasps> whoa possessed picture the meat is here actually, so I should really grab the meat, but I shouldn't have anything in my hands whenever I grab it. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the winch handle. And there's also the code. Oh man, okay. It'd be really good just having a weapon, take out Granny, and then we can just get on with our lives, but that's okay. So Granny's now gonna be coming over here. I'm gonna use the winch handle outside. And I'm gonna grab the screwdriver. And then the screwdriver will also be out of the way. 
That'll be off our checklist. And then we also know where the cutting pliers are as well. Man, Granny is turned into a very complicated game. You need a lot of items to do stuff. Uh, or like the items now just have so much more use. And then I'm gonna go grab the melon. Quickly use the melon. Grab you. Come on. Come on. And then after the melon, we can go grab the meat. But we need the special key first. Okay, we could do the special key after the melon. And then come down, grab the meat. What do we got here? An engine pot. Okay, I see. Not the most helpful, but that's all right. So now, I'm going to lure Granny to the basement so I can then come back and use the melon. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, very good. No, no, okay. Come hither. Yeah. Man, it's summertime. I'm gonna make me some watermelon juice. Oh, freshly made watermelon juice is just a wonderful thing. Uh, take you and put you right dirt and go right dirt and then boop. And what do we got? What do we got? Master key. Yes. Good. Okay, so now Granny's gonna be coming out here, which gives us an opportunity to go up to the attic if we're quick enough about it. I grab you special key. And then, after the special key and the meat, we can also then bring the pliers upstairs, too. And then we can take out Granny with a weapon. And then, use everything that we need on the main floor. Oh, man. Okay. Because there's a couple things we gotta do on the main floor. We have the code. We have... Well, I'm about to creak some floors. I'm gonna have to be quick. Oh, boy. Yep, 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 yep. That's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in here. And then I'm going to knock you over. And then I'm going to come over here because then Granny is going to come up to the attic. Where do we want to go next? We want to go down to the... Where do we want to go? We got to get the meat, which is on the bottom of the secret room. Could also just quickly grab... No, grabbing the screwdriver would be too risky. We shouldn't do that. Coming over here now? Oh, yes, there you are. Hello. Okay. Um, too risky to grab a screwdriver, so instead, <gasps> if I'm quick about this, I could quickly go like this, and then... BAM! Yes! Okay, 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 there's a couple things we can do now. Excuse me, Granny, excuse me, Granny. <laughs> we gotta be quick, gotta be quick! Okay, oh man. Okay, 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 okay. So you run, run down here. Okay, what should I do, what should I do? I'm gonna throw you over there. Did that work? Did I actually throw you there? No. Oh my goodness. I really don't like the way dropping works in this game. Okay, cool. So now cutting pliers are down there. We need those down there. But then we also need to get these things that are over here. And they're all the way down here. So it's a bit of a run for all of this. But that's okay. Because we just bring it over and it'll be super easy. It'll be super great. Okay, so the code I'm also going to place beside the door. Yeah. Okay, good. Code's down there. And then, we need to grab this other thing. There's so much to do. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take this, this remote control, and I'm going to run downstairs. I feel like it's definitely been a minute already. Oh, Granny's already. <sighs> oh, hello, Granny. Okay, you keep doing your thing. No, don't stop in this room. Keep going. No. Do you want to play hide and seek? No, Granny, I really don't. I don't want to play hide and seek with you. Oh, where are you going? Go left, go left, go left, go left, go left. <gasps> she went right. This is fine. Because now we grab the screwdriver. And then if we can take Granny out again real quick, then um, we already brought everything right in front of the the big door here. I should have kept the cutting pliers here because then I could have just went to the attic with them, but that's okay. Where is Granny? Oh, ha, huh. hi Granny. Okay, I'm just gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab you. Then I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna run over here and use the screwdriver because this screwdriver is just screaming to be used. I'm gonna run down here, and hopefully Granny doesn't come down here. I'm gonna go like this, and then like this. And now what do we have here? We have the safe key. Oh, that works nice, that works real nice. Okay, what else is down here? Spark plug, engine parts, we know where the wrench is. Man, yeah, should we even be? And then we have the car battery. We have everything for the car, I believe. We would just need the padlock key. So, what do 
We need the padlock key for this. Do we have everything for the front door? No, we'd need the padlock key for that as well. We haven't checked uh, what the spider is guarding, and we do that with the meat. So, is there anything I can pick up here and then put back down? Yeah. Can come this way? Yeah. Okay. Run. Once we come over here, what is it that I want again? I want to go outside. So I want to go this way. <sighs> and we already have the master key. That's good. Okay. Cool. We're going to go get the meat. Then we're going to go to the attic. What's still behind the attic? We don't even know that yet. There's so much. There's so much we need. Okay. I'm going to lead Granny over here. And then that'll give us some time. So now we can come here. Oh man, but did that now, is that going to lead her to the sewer? I think it might. So we got to be pretty quick with this meat. We could use the freeze trap actually. Yeah, that'll buy us some time. Let's do that. Oh granny, she gon' she gonna fall on that freeze trap. She gonna fall on that freeze trap. I'm going to grab the meat real quick, okay? So you just, you hit that freeze trap, all right? I'll even lure you with some meat. You want some steak, granny? Mmm, your favorite. There you go. Okay. So can I now quickly run over here? <gasps> wow. Okay. So I do want to take care of this, but it would be a good idea. Oh, jeez, man. I don't know. The best thing to do is to grab you. Yeah, okay. The meat can go there. That's fine. And then you can be used here. And what's in here? Piece of a painting. No. I don't need to go back there. Okay, hold on. Uh, code can be used here and then this can be used here and it still needs to be used in the basement but we might as well also use it in the attic while we can i don't think a minute has passed by at all i even think i'll have some time real quick to go and okay so cog wheel okay 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 that's good grab actually no i'd rather have no i can leave the cog wheel here that's actually okay i believe granny's back in action could be wrong. Yep, Granny's back. My webcam is now, uh, has just stopped recording. One second, guys. We have the cutting pliers. We need to go to the basement. I believe, what would be better? To leave with the car or to leave through the front door? I think it might actually work out to be the front door this time. It really depends what the meat reveals. Granny's coming back upstairs for some reason. Why is she, what is she doing? I'm gonna come over here. Now I'm gonna go back down to the basement real quick. Just take care of this. All right, so you, and then now that is the pliers fully done. We don't need to worry about the pliers anymore. Thank goodness. Okay, so now I might as well grab this part of a shotgun. The other part of the shotgun is actually, where is that? That's in the attic as well. So much to keep track of, jeez, man. Okay, if we find the padlock key at this point, I really don't know what's the better option. The gasoline is on the top floor, and that's kind of a pain. If we put the shotgun together, we can just take Granny out, get a bunch of stuff done again. We want to lure Granny outside so we can grab the meat. Yeah, let's do that. Grab the meat real quick. We'll be fast about it. We can do this, guys. <sighs> we can do this. I can't make a video about Granny's lore uh, without actually then just going ahead and beating the game as well. You know, I need you guys to know that I, I want you guys to feel like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but all this info is actually available on the Granny Wiki, which is a very cool, uh, very cool source. You can go and read all about the Granny games. Oh, Granny's right there. Oh boy. Okay. So now we run, 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 run. I already checked all this, right? Did I even check the main floor yet? I'm not even 100% sure. All the shelves in the kitchen and whatnot? Am I insane? Did I check the kitchen? I don't remember looking in the microwave or anything like that. Did I just completely miss an entire room in the house? I think I did. Oh man. Okay. Well. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, bird seeds. It's the bird that's guarding the padlock key, right? Is that it? We need to go down to the bird. Down to the bird. Gotta go down to the bird. Or it's the it's the playhouse key. And then the cog wheel is up here. Oh man, there's so much back and forth. Is Granny up here? Granny? Gram Jam? 
Oh, now she's coming up here. I, what? I don't know. Where is she? There she is. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, you come here. I need to go out to... I'm just gonna come out this way. I hope she doesn't take the shortcut. Yeah. Okay. And then we run down here. Okay, cool. Alright, and then Granny can't do that. So now I'm gonna quickly get done, done, get whatever the bird's garden. We could use the freeze trap again, I think. I don't know if it works on Granny two times. I'm not sure. Whoa! Alright, cool. Well, I might as well try it again. Alright, Granny. Will it work? If not, I am doomed. Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness, it worked. Wow! Oh, and I smashed her, and now her body is blocking me in. There we go. Okay. Oh, cogwheel, cogwheel, cogwheel. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna drop you down here. That's very easy to come and get. And then I'll go grab the cogwheel. I should be checking the kitchen. What am I doing? I'm gonna check the kitchen real quick. I am already up here, but... Hmm. Oh, man, I don't know. Okay, it's really easy to get the cogwheel, so... I'll use this opportunity to check the kitchen. And I'll put the weapon back together. I really don't know how many times we can actually take Granny out. Okay, nothing in here. Is the kitchen just completely empty? Well, how about that? Okay. Well, in that case, let's just go get the cogwheel then. Okay. Yeah. Carefully. So then, cogwheel. Oh, no. Oh. Is Granny out and about? I believe so. Okay. Granny's back up. I want to lead her up here. Go down to the playhouse. Oh, there she is. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. That's exactly what I wanted. So now, I'll come down here, and the other cogwheel... Wait, where's the playhouse key? Where did I put it? Oh, no. Oh, okay, right. It's where the screwdriver usually is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I'll put you there. Okay, both cogwheels are right beside each other. So now... We grab the playhouse key, put in the cog wheel, see what's in there, hopefully it's a padlock key, and then we can bounce, finally. And then the shotgun part, the last one is on the top floor. At the same time though, all the car parts are down here. Man, the thing is, is by the time we get the padlock key, we would have gotten pretty much every item in the game. This is gonna be a playthrough where there are no shortcuts or anything, we get every single item you need for both endings and <laughs> and then there's only and there's no like extra reward for that there's only the one ending you can take so it's obviously it's not like we intended on this it's just how it worked out is we got like every single item in the game which is insane <sighs> i'm not sure if i actually properly lured granny away and then she, she just had to go ahead and put a bear trap there wasn't that just great granny ain't he can I sneak around I can't oh boy Oh, she definitely saw that. She saw that. She saw that. Oh my goodness. She saw that. 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 Yep. 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 That's okay. That's fine. That's okay. Everything's okay. It's day four. Day four is nothing. We still got two days. Okay. 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 So what do we do now? So now we put in the cogs. We might as well run up to the attic since we're right here. And then we'll put, we'll put together the shotgun and then we can hopefully just go ahead and beat the game. So we do this. <laughs> I think I messed up. Not yet. Not yet. My screen is so sweaty and it is not allowing me to press a lot of buttons. Okay, Ooh. just stay calm. Okay, that'll lure her up here. We'll put together the shotgun and then we can do one final granny takeout. It'll be the extreme granny takeout extravaganza. We'll put this shotgun together. Finally. And then you, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna drop you so that granny comes over here. Wait a second. I didn't load it. What? It's not loaded. It's not, there's no shoot button. There was no shoot button on the screen. What was that? I was, I, what, but excuse me? No, we're on the last day. I mean, at least the shotgun's in the basement, but still. 
Now I'm afraid to use the shotgun. What if it bugs out again? Did it bug out? I'm pretty sure. There was no shoot button. No, I even tried putting more ammo in. Oh man, that's not good. Okay, Granny, come on. She's still just hanging out in the basement. Okay. I need to grab these cog wheels. Okay. So I'm gonna lure her here. Grab one of you. Come on down. Then we'll lure her into the basement. Then we'll go back, put in both the cog wheels, see what we get. Whew, oh man, all right. This is a granny marathon happening right now. Drop you, then we can come back here. Okay, she's leaving the backyard. Whoo! okay guys. All right, here we go. We're doing it. I am giving it my all. Come on, did that make noise? I don't know. We can do this. We can do this. What is it? What is it? What do we get? Padlock. Yes. That is what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and try out the shotgun again. Okay? I'm a little bit scared. I'm afraid it's not going to work, but we'll see. If it works, we win the game. If it doesn't work, then, uh, <laughs> then it, it is not our destiny to win this game. But here we go. She's coming back inside. All right. Pick up shotgun. There is no shoot button. Look, you see this, guys? There's no shoot button. Like, what am I supposed to do? The shotgun is loaded. So why isn't it working? The shotgun isn't working, guys. The shotgun is broken. Also, I can't look around. Why can't I look around right now? I can't look around right now, but I'm hoping that whenever I get out of the car, I'll be able to look around again. This should be so easy. I should have won the game now. I should have been able to just shoot her and then walk out with the padlock key. It should have been as simple as that. But I suppose we have a bit of a challenge in front of us, which is fine. Here we go. How should we do this? I can shoot now. Whoa. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm afraid to drop it though. Oh, hold on. I can have the car door fall, right? Here, come on, come on, come on. Fall down, fall down. Fall down. Why aren't you falling down? Yeah, this car door is supposed to be able to fall off, right? What do? Because the padlock key's down here, right? Where is it, anyways? Let me first figure out where it is. Okay, it's right there. We can do this, guys. We're gonna pick it back up. Okay, cool. We can shoot it, as a matter of fact. So I will be ready. I have never been ready for more than anything else in my entire life. Is that how the saying goes? I don't know, I'm too distracted right now. I have never been more ready than anything else in my entire life. That's what I meant to say. Okay, excuse me, Graham Jam, here we go. Granny Smith Apple, it is time. Just time for me to leave this horrific place. Okay, so it's just like this. Oh wait, that. And then I go grab the master key, which just so happens to conveniently be right here. See, you gotta think ahead, guys. So you grab the master key. And then, just like that, we can go ahead and... <gasps> And there you have it, the mother of Slendrina's mother. Watch this. Well, I mean, at the end there, her face still appears. That is a new thing, and that is pretty creepy. But thankfully now, we can just play Mission 12. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Whew. So there you have it. Oh my goodness. That was so much. That was so much. But we did it. And I am so proud, I am so happy. I hope we all learned something in this video. Don't trust the shotgun, that's the main one. But also, there's some pretty cool lore behind the whole granny backstory universe. So if you're still interested in that, if you wanna learn even more, like I said, check out the granny wiki online. Um, that's where I got most of the information in today's video. But that's pretty much it, guys. I would like to thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed, please do remember to leave the video a like, maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out all the merch, all available at DennisDaily.com, a link in the description below. But that's it. Thank you again, guys, and I will see you in the next one.